All right, Nessa girl, we pushing through and popping with this content. I know y'all already got into basketball wise, so ain't even no need for me to start with the Nessa girl. Did you get into last night? The night before last? The night? The night? The night? The night? The night? Tonight is the night. Hey, that you? Y'all see how I feel good when y'all hoes let me get a motherfucking break and let me do me, let me go down to the car, to the bar, bitch. Well, I, I went down to the car, too, when I left the bar and gave that nigga something he could feel in honor of Aretha and her fume. People out there can't understand. I'm giving him something he, at any rate, that was an intro for your ass. The episode starts out with the women being on the bus and they separate into two groups. It's Kristen in Malaysia and then OG, Jackie, and Cece on the bus. And I, you know, I, I already opened up the episode like, child, this some bullshit. Y'all being petty already having the same damn conversation all separate. And I'm confused because... I don't know where Malaysia gets in the equation that Cece was saying that she didn't have a job either. When Cece threw out her comment about can I go to any of their work, yes it was a dig, and yes she was talking to Evelyn and Jen because those were the people that were in the confrontation with her. I don't understand why Malaysia is feeling as if Cece was talking to her, but hey Malaysia, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your spot. This episode did reveal a whole lot of shit about Cece that got me looking at her differently, and we're going to talk about it. Evelyn and Shawnee decide that they're going to go down to the weed bar, which is probably the best thing they should have did. Bitch, quiet as it's kept, that big ass damn balloon, that thing looked like the thing they be doing like this out the used car dealership. That just didn't look for the, like it was for the glory of the kingdom. I don't think God too pleased with you smoking a gram of weed. First of all, he ain't too pleased with you smoking it, period, bitch. But if you gon' smoke it, bitch, we smoke it classy base out of one of these, bitch. Yes, honey. I, ooh, I'm telling all my business in here. Girl, we smoke like this. Like this. And not like this. Uh-uh, honey. I don't even suck dick like that when I do it. But like this. And not like this, honey. Okay. At any rate, I just told y'all all my little business. Nevertheless, um, they went out to the weed shit. I said, Lord, Evelyn was around here talking about she ain't really do it before. And she don't know how to make you feel. You was a little too comfortable smoking that goddamn reefer. And just like we knew, them hoes had done got the giggles down to the Amsterdam. I'm going to tell you something since I don't told y'all my business. When I hit the weed, I only do two good inhales. So I could chill. I don't like to be all high off that weed. I don't like to be out my mind. My homeboy got some good stuff. I can get me a $20 uh, bud. And that shit lasts me for about a month, bitch. Because I just hit a little puff puff and sit down and drink me a cocktail. Me personally. Okay, I ain't got to have it all like that. You know, when I had a long stressful day. Nevertheless, they ran here walking around the city and shit. I would have been scared one of them double-decker buses was going to hit me. Or somebody was going to abduct my ass like that Liam Nelson movie. Uh, uh, Taken, honey. You can't go around the foreign countries. It be drinking and inebriated unless you got Tammy Roman with you because that bitch going to fight. Shiny ass ain't going to fight and Evelyn, she don't look like she going to do much another if the weed is new to her, honey. But they smoked it or whatever. Well, while they was over there getting high on the church's money, uh, Malaysia and Jackie and all the rest of them was going walking through the fields with the shepherds and the damn sheep and shit. And you know what? I really like Malaysia because Malaysia, much like myself, she just tired of the bullshit. And Malaysia was like, listen, listen, CC, you said the shit. It was a fucking dig. Just own it. You were mad. And I was like, yeah, what y'all do for a living? Y'all don't do nothing. I said it in the heat of the moment. And what? And you did not invite her to your birthday party because you were mad and you did it on purpose. There. Just say it. 
And I love Malaysia for that because Cece is around here trying to be so politically correct and so ladylike and so nice that it is causing extra confusion. And yes, I have been on Kristen's case all season because I actually understand. Is this thing going? I'm, Lord, I'm sitting here talking. Queen was on the other line. I actually understand the 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 way CC rolls with trying to keep it cute and trying to keep it classy, but CC at the point in which you try to keep it cute and try to keep it classy, time after time after time, and it's not getting you anywhere. It's time for you to just go for the jugular, rip the goddamn bandaid off the store, and just tell it what it is, tell it like it is, so we can put this shit to bed once and for all. Um. Uh, <laughs> Queen just texted me talking about she was <laughs> Queen just texted me talking about she was listening. Hold on, let me get Queen back on the line. Hold on. <laughs> I was talking to her before I had did this and she had done clicked over. <laughs> Hold on, girl, you spent this since you was listening to a Queen tell the people, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, finish listening, child. Anyway, y'all, me and Queen talks early in the morning when she be on her way to work. At any rate, so, you know, Jackie then jumps in and tells Kristen everything that she needed to hear. She said, Kristen, you around here playing a real funny game. You around here walking around with Shawnee and Evelyn and them walking on their side, but this lady right here is your family, and I am so glad that Jackie checked Kristen on that, because I had been saying that shit for the goddamn longest, and Jackie called her out on that. You is playing a dangerous game, switching up on your family to be with Evelyn and Shawnee, and low-key, what Jackie Christie was really telling that bitch was because Evelyn ass ain't loyal to nobody and next season and as soon as you know Jen spray some new perfume on her pussy she gonna be over there eating and not even knowing nothing about you so you might want to be a little careful that is your family and she told her right Kristen then jumps in and says she ain't looking out for Evelyn them and she ain't looking out for Kristen I mean for Cece she looking out for herself because she feels XYZ and she feel like nobody have her back but the thing about it is Kristen CC don't even know how to have her own back. You know what I'm saying? So how can you expect her to have yours? And the gag is, Kristen, your ass is just as guilty as CC is too because you around here, you know, painting the picture that you mad about this and you mad about that and you mad about Jen and mad about this, but you really mad that that lady ain't been around that daycare center you call her home to see your daughter since she been walking. I'm just not understanding why you couldn't have said that from the very get-go. So then they get down to this boat ride, right? And you know, uh, CC tried to do her demure white woman thing. I don't want no drama. I'm just going to sit here with my face tooted up like I smell shit. And Malaysia said, I'm tired of this. Malaysia said, CC, is there anything you think you need to say to Evelyn or tell her how you feel? And I love Malaysia because she wasn't being messy. She was being a peacemaker. She said, damn it, I'm tired of us going episode after episode, city after city, and country after country with this same bullshit. This was the first time we saw Cece eloquently articulate her damn self and how she really felt, but I think she was able to do it because she had Jackie on her side, Kristen was sitting next to her, and Malaysia was there to support her. And I love the fact that, you know, she was able to be honest, Evelyn was able to accept her apology, and they were able to put that shit to bed. Now, Cece said... You know, there are some women on this trip that I'm just not going to get along with. Then Shiny come jumping her porky pig looking ass in the mix, talking about, oh, you know, well, it, or, or, or who, what is, oh, it's more than one woman. You know, who are you talking about? I just want to be clear. Shiny, that lady ain't got no problem with you. And I'm glad that, you know, Kristen jumped in when it was able to explain that shit. Shawnee, you and Evelyn ass is both guilty by association because, bitch, I don't fucks with Jen. But nevertheless, Kristen jumps her ass in 
and uh, Malaysia end up getting her ass together, Jackie too, telling her she need to mind her business. Now, what I don't agree with is Malaysia trying to push them to continue talking about an issue that was a family problem because that's all them greedy ass, vulture ass hoes was waiting on was to say, oh shit, what kind of drama they got going on between them so they can get in the middle, manipulate it, mix it all up and all that kind of foolishness. I'm glad though that they had the conversation and they were able to get down to the bottom of it. I also like the fact that OG jumped in on her confessional and told the truth. She said that Kristen is not going to be able to be loyal to Cece just as long as Evelyn and them are in the mix. And that's true because Kristen wants to be a part of that Evelyn and them crew so goddamn bad that she is willing to switch out on Cece. And when we get to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what I really think happened in chronological order as it relates to everything that's going on with these old ass hoes. Um, the bus ride over. OG looked the good in her Nigerian shout set. Yes, God, honey. OG looked the good. She looked the good. I am glad ever since Malaysia had that wig party that they, they had done got OG and her fashions together. But she was uh, over the bullshit. Cece was over the bullshit. They was like, where's Cece at? They said, oh, she stayed behind. She was sick. No, that lady had done reached her bullshit meter with you bitches. Uh, it was good to see Tammy spending some time with her daughter and much like I told y'all two or three videos ago, the truth revealed itself. Tammy ass did not go on this trip because Tammy knows historically whenever she is with these group of women, out of time she end up whooping somebody ass and Tammy is just over it. You can already tell Tammy did not want to do this season of basketball wise. Some of the tea from the reunion leak, they say Jen didn't show up and they said Tammy walked in, apologized to I think Evelyn and or Shawnee and then walked off the set. Bitch, I'm done. I'm closing this chapter of my life and we could tell that Tammy was already done. You got to know when to hold and when to fold and Tammy was like, I got other opportunities. I really don't have to do this no more. I only came on to help save this boring ass franchise and now I'm out. I'll see y'all ass on the Sony or the Paramount lot making movies and doing whatever the hell it is I'm over there doing with Reggie trying to make babies and other futile efforts. Um, so they go on to the museum chat. We get back to damn Amsterdam and they did Evelyn ass talking about she didn't want to go in the prostitution room. I said, girl, yeah, you didn't want to go in there because you was raised in there, bitch. Talking about they fuck 16 people a day. Can you imagine? No, I can't, but I'm sure you could try to do me. And you know what? Now that I think about it, on a previous video, when Evelyn made that comment uh, in her confession, talking about CC said they don't work, talking about, but ain't none of us selling pussy shit. That ain't what you selling, girl. You might not be selling it in a can. You might be selling yours in a nice goddamn box, bitch. But you selling it all right. What you call Antoine Walker? What you call Ocho Cinco? What you call Crawl Crawl for having babies with your old ass and freezing the rest of them damn embryos? Quiet as a scalp, honey. It might not be selling pussy, but it's damn so selling puss. Okay, you you want to make your sound? You so oh, you ain't selling pussy. You selling coochie or for JJ or kitty box. Okay, I understand. You just want to brand what you doing different, but bitch, it's all the what the motherfucking same. But in the words of Erica Badu, work ain't honest, but it pays the bills. I don't mind you selling it, girl, because at least you selling it to the highest bidder. I know you probably trained Marlo Hampton, quiet as a scam, honey. If I could sell it the way you would, I could. I try. But I can't, so I won't and I don't. I just fuck for free because if I'm just going to be a hoe, I just don't want to feel like one with an exchange of money. So I just tell myself, anybody I fucks, I do it for free because I want to do it and they want to do it with me. Nevertheless, girl, y'all kid me talking about y'all didn't want to go in there and sell the pussy room 16 dicks a day. Girl, bye. CC and Jackie sitting down outside the next day and they having a private conversation and then Malaysia and damn Kristen end up walking up. What we thought was going to be a peaceful chat between two middle-aged women became a drama-filled scene, but at least it helped us get to the bottom of what the fuck was going on. So here, let me tell you something. Kristen talking about she mad because they not coming to see her baby. 
uh, CC talking about she sent that text to, C to, 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 that, to Kristen to put her up on game and it wasn't malicious. And let me cut through the bullshit. The season of Basketball Wives start filming and everybody is fine. Byron, CC, Kristen, all of them are fine. Kristen gets around Jen and Evelyn and them and starts switching out and laughing at them happy endings comments. Then that's when CC gets in her feelings and she feels like, okay, you don't have my back. You don't have my back. Then Byron don't want y'all ass to come around anymore. He don't want y'all to come to nothing in because y'all don't pay. That was CC being petty. It was not independent of what was already going on. It was part of what was already going on. So as a result of that text, Kristen then returns the petty by saying, well, fuck it, bitch. You said he didn't want me to come to any other events. So the next two events you have, we ain't motherfucking coming. Okay. Then Cece has the birthday party. Now here's where shit gets confusing. Kristen, you didn't come to the prior two events. So why should you give a damn that you didn't come to the birthday party? You didn't come to the other two because you called yourself being mad. But I guess you said you want to cherry pick which events you want to be mad. You, want, you don't want to come to them two, but you want to come to the birthday party. CeCe's perspective was you didn't come to the other two. So fuck you. I'm not going to invite you to the birthday party. And CeCe, you did it on purpose and then from there shit got all convoluted and now you talking about she don't come to see your baby this that and the third and i think that got a small part to do with why you were perturbed but it was exacerbated by all this other shit that was going on and if both of y'all hoes would just sit down and fucking tell the truth in the order in which the shit happened like i just did y'all could have saved yourselves a lot of embarrassment fussing in front of a bunch of bitches that don't even care about y'all and trying to tell y'all part and another thing when they was on that boat and Malaysia had done told Kristen, you know, you weren't serious about salvaging this thing with Cece because you brought Jen in the mix. Somebody who was beefing with Cece. She was absolutely right. And thank you, Malaysia, for seeing through the bullshit. And last but not least, Jennifer arrives and the shit goes off. Nessa, girl, this was an excellent episode of Basketball Wise. And my throat hurts sitting here talking to y'all for 20 damn minutes first thing in the morning. These lights hot on my neck. So I'm going to get off the line but be sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell button if you want to get all the notifications when i call and i'll call you later bye